So yes, there are some signs that economic growth is slowing, but it is still considered healthy. However, the bond market is saying something else. The yield on the short-term Treasury has been higher than longer-term Treasuries for more than 30 consecutive trading sessions. Now, it is a phenomenon which is known as an inverted yield curve, and that tends to happen before recessions. We're joined now by Jack McIntyre with Brandywine Global Investment to talk more about this. Welcome, Jack. Nice to have you here. It's nice to be here. You say that the, the Treasury yield curve is sending some warning signs to the Federal Reserve. What might they be? So I think the key message that the yield curve and the bond market in general is sending the Fed is that, hey, we've got low inflation. And, and you know, it's surprisingly, it's not transitory. It's the secular disinflationary influences are keeping a lid on cyclical and the business cycle type inflation. So the Fed shouldn't be worried that inflation is going to get out of hand. They should be more worried that, hey, this, this low inflation is, is sticking around too long. I think you would agree that there's a subplot to all of this that will face Jerome Powell tomorrow in Washington. If he decides to cut interest rates at the end of the month, do you think that emboldens his critics who have been calling for a rate cut of some kind? And conversely, if he doesn't cut rates, do you think he risks his job? So that's that's an interesting one, because I think historically all this stuff is is supposed to be happening behind closed doors. We're just seeing in the you know, the world now tweeting. It's all happening in front of our eyes. So I think he is going to rise above it. And what's going to drive him uh, is sort of the, the growth outlook for the U.S., the global economy in general inflation. So I think the Fed is positioned to cut by 25 basis points at the end of, of this month. Uh, and then we'll have to go from there, no matter whether they're getting pressured to cut further or not. They've got, to, they've got to show that they are purely or truly independent. So what is the data telling you then? Um, and and what, how do you think the Fed is going to look at it? I mean, the data is slowing slightly. The U.S. is still pretty strong, but the mm. global economy is weakening. So where does that put us? So the way I'm thinking about it is that you, you, what the Fed should do isn't look at today's data. And you're right, because the U.S. economy is doing well. Consumer confidence is, is still pretty high. But, you know, I think they need to think in terms of sort of a insurance policy cut. Be preemptive. Right. The U.S. is not this economic island. The global economy is softening. We're not going to be immune to that. And without inflation, why not cut rates now and just send a message to the markets that, hey, wait a second, you know, we're not going to cut 100 basis points like the market's priced in, mm -hmm. but we're going to go 25 and then we're going to sort of, sort of reevaluate. Well, we will see. Thank you so much, Jack. Jack McIntyre with Brandywine Global Investment.